Like, where am I even gonna put this? I'm, I like need to do an intro. I guess this is the intro. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I just got this big guy in the mail from Too Faced. I took a bunch of this stuff out. I just have the foundations in there right now. I'll show you, look. These are the shades that don't match me. Like, that's a lot of freaking foundation. So we're gonna do a little giveaway in this video, but I'm gonna do it at the end or more towards the end. So the Tutti Fruity collection from Too Faced, which is exclusive to Ulta, is now available. So I'm gonna go through, I haven't, I mean I've looked, but I haven't touched anything. I obviously haven't put anything on my face. We're gonna try some of the products out. We're gonna go through, I'm not keeping everything though. Like, ooh, like these are all of the, what are these called? Hold on. They are the Comfort Lip Glaze. These are all of the shades. I'm not gonna use 90% of these. And, ooh, they have not been opened yet. I've not swatched them. So I'm gonna keep like two of them and put the rest into the giveaway that's happening in this video. So, you guys, well, one of you guys is gonna get a good portion of this collection. So, oh, I changed up my background a little bit. We're like filming at a different spot. I don't know, I don't know if I like it. We'll see. I'm so like torn with my background. I feel like I just need to change this room up. I'm kind of over it. Not over the room, I love this space. This is amazing. I just mean like, I don't know, the decor, like the pictures and I don't know. I just need a change of something. So anyway, getting into the Tutti Fruity collection. So the foundation is called the Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation. It is infused with juicy watermelon and fresh cucumber. So for those of you with dry skin, you're probably going to really like this. Now I have combo to oily skin, so I have a feeling this might not work for me, but I'm still gonna try it out. You never know, I might love it. It totally smells like watermelon. Like, it smells so good, it really does. We have two very cute eyeshadow palettes. Like, look at this packaging, it is on freaking point. They have this little lip over here where you can pop it up to open it. It is so convenient. That one looks really pretty. This one is the Sparkling Pineapple Eyeshadow Palette. And then we have the Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette. Like how freaking cute is this packaging? Ooh, that one's really pretty. So we're gonna try out one of these eyeshadow palettes. We have a couple blush. We have a couple blushes. This one, pomegranate. Like, shut your mouth. They're so cute. There's a banana powder that is freaking adorable. Like, Too Faced kills it with packaging. This one is strobe berry, pretty pink. We have cherry bomb, which is more, and they're all like split pans. This one's more like reddish. This is the one that I like, of course. This one is called Apricot in the Act. Look at this packaging. Ah, so cute. And then this is gorgeous. The Pineapple Paradise Strobing Bronzer. First off, little pineapples, which I love. And look how pretty that is. That is gorgeous. We also have a bunch of these liquid glitter eyeshadows. Again, I'm only going to keep like two or three of these, so the rest are going to go into a giveaway. I just took them out of the box to show you guys, but I do have the boxes right here, so they're going to go right back in. We do have two highlighter sticks. There's a strawberry one and a pink lemonade one, so we'll play with those. There are two, am I overwhelming you yet? There are two sparkling, wait, what are these called? Oh, these are fresh squeezed highlighting drops. So there's a pink grapefruit and a pina colada. The pink grapefruit's gonna go into the giveaway. The pina colada I'm going to test out. Oh, there's also a setting spray, but I didn't get it in the mail, but it's okay because it's a dewy finish. It has like a pearlescent finish, they say. It says multi-use for an ultra fine shimmer all over face and body. So if you're someone who likes a more dewy finish setting spray, you might really like that one. And then the Sparkling Pineapple Eyeshadow Palette. Smells like pineapple. Seven glitter metallic satin and matte shadows. And it says they are richly pigmented for one swipe blendable payoff. We'll be the judge of that. 
The highlighting drops are multi-use for radiant sparkle on eyes, lips, and face, and it says it's a weightless formula that can be layered, mixed, or worn alone. So as far as these Twinkle Twinkle Liquid Glitter Eyeshadows go, there are eight shades. It says layer across lids for a high sparkle eyeshadow without the fallout. Without the fallout. We will see. And then these two Frosted Fruit Highlighter Sticks come in two shades, Strawberry Sparkle and Pink Lemonade, and it is a weightless cream to powder formula, multi-use for face and eyes. And then the banana powder, which I just think is so adorable. Blurs imperfections and harsh lines. Golden undertone helps brighten skin. Weightless brightening formula can be used all over the face. The last thing we have are the four blushes. Our soft touch silky formula is the perfect way to customize your flush from sweet and flirty to a sexy sparkling glow. Buildable pigment and glow. It comes in four shades and it has a fruity scent. Oh shoot, I almost forgot about these comfort lip, comfort lip glaze. Juicy fruits is what they're called. One swipe payoff for immediate high impact color. 10 shades, lightweight texture for comfortable wear and they're calling it a candy gloss finish. Okay, so I feel like I just gave you guys like a lot of information in a very short amount of time, but we're going to talk more about it as we go through me actually putting the products on my face. So let's do this. So the two shades that I think are gonna match me best are Golden Beige and Honey. This packaging's really cute. So you have a little pump, which is very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with Golden Beige. Ooh, that might be a little light. I might need to mix just a little bit of Honey. Let's see, there's Honey. So I'm gonna do, ooh, I'm gonna do like a mixture of the two. Ooh, this feels thick. Ooh, she thick. Yeah, I need a little honey. I can never find a foundation shade to match me perfectly. Oh, and I'm using this sponge from Stands Out Beauty. The only thing, I used this in my last video. Look, I could not get that out. I scrubbed it forever. That is gonna drive me crazy. Okay. Oh, the shade looks a little like reddish, but I'll have to play around with the shades and find my perfect match. <laughs> that could have been so much easier if I would have just mixed them together on the back of my hand. Gotta make it difficult. I love this packaging. When I tell you this foundation smells so good, oh my gosh, it smells. And it's not like overpowering, it's not too much. It, it kind of smells like Bath and Body Works Cucumber Melon. It just smells like summer, it smells so good. Okay. The coverage on this foundation is actually quite impressive. And I was expecting like dew, like a very dewy finish. This is like, like a demi matte. I don't know, I feel like I'm going crazy, but it doesn't look dewy, right? That actually looks really, really good. I am kind of impressed right now. I had it in my head that it was gonna be like super dewy and it wasn't gonna work for me but this looks gorgeous. So I'm gonna use the Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer from Too Faced. There's not a concealer in this 2D Fruity collection, so I'm just gonna go in with this guy.
I'm gonna go in as always with my Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in white and then we will set this face. Shoot, I didn't want to set my entire face because I wanted to try these highlighter drops. Oh my god. So the way that I use banana powders, I always set my entire face then go in with banana powder. So I'm going to do that with this guy. The It's Banana Setting Powder and Banana Cream and a Wayne Goss 02 brush. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh, that smells bomb. Okay. See if it makes a difference. Mm, I don't see any difference. Don't really see any difference other than this side that I did put the banana powder on looks a little bit creepy. Ooh. I just, I don't get down with banana powders. They just don't ever work for me and I don't know why. Okay, moving on to the eyes. So we have two options. We have Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette and then we have Sparkling Pineapple Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, so I think I'm going to use this guy today. We'll see how this one works out. Okay, so... I guess I can take this shade into my crease. It's a little dark, so I may mix in just a touch of this one with an E40 from Sigma. Oh, so I got a lot of questions the other day about this LNY brush that I used in my last video. The only place I've seen these is on Amazon. This was actually sent to me, but this is like a perfect dupe for the 217, the natural hair one. And these are very, very inexpensive brushes. So if you're interested, keep an eye on Amazon. Ooh, I wanna show you guys. So I'm dipping in and there's not too much fallout. Do you see that? That's pretty impressive. You know what, I'm not gonna dip into the other shade. I'm just gonna stick with that brown. If it's a little intense, we'll just make it work. I know I didn't do my brows yet, but I will do them after my eyes. I've been doing my eye makeup first a lot and then doing my brows. I know that might seem like backwards, but it's just what I've been doing. Yeah, this color built up pretty good. It's blending up pretty well. I feel like it's catching a little bit like right in here. It's kind of, I don't know, just like grabbing on to areas that it shouldn't and it's not blending out as well as I would like it to, but pretty good, pretty good. Ooh, this shade is really cool. Wait, what is that, a topper? What? I got, what? That is a horrible swatch. Oh, it was almost like the top layer had like hard pan. Now it's a little bit better. Oh, that would be a cool topper. Do you see that? That is gorgeous. Oh, that's really pretty. So let me swatch this one. Oh, oh that's gorgeous. Oh my God, do you see that sheen? That is beautiful. What happened? Look at the pan. Wait, what? Do you see that? I just dipped into it one time. It has a huge dip in it. Girl, you better stop playing. I really wanna put this shade all over my lid. It's so pretty. I'm just gonna go in. I'm not gonna use any type of base or anything. Let's just see. Oh. Oh yeah, it's building up a little bit. Hmm. 
gonna go over it with an, one of those liquid glitter eye toppers anyway. But. So on my other eye, I'm gonna take my Too Faced glitter base and we're gonna, we're gonna see what a difference it makes. This product, like that tiny bit, makes a huge difference. That maybe even was too much. You need like the tiniest bit. Oh yeah, that's pretty. The shadow almost feels like it has a bit of creaminess to it. So there you can see the difference. Is it anything I've not seen in the past? No, um, but it's pretty. I think it's a pretty shade. I'm a sucker for a champagne eyeshadow. I'm just taking a little bit of that same matte brown that I put in my crease, just running it here along the edge so that we don't have any like crazy lines. I'm being a little messy to be honest because we're gonna go in with one of these guys these little glitter liquid sticks. So I don't know just yet which ones I wanna keep. I definitely know that I wanna keep this one. It is called Honey Please. So this is the one we're gonna to use today and see how it is. So it has like a paddle applicator. Both sides are the same. Oh, I just got a little on my hand here actually. Let's do a little. Oh, that's actually very pretty. The Stila ones are hard to beat. I will tell you that. They are hard to beat. Actually, before I put this guy on, I want to deepen the outer part of my eye because once you put this on, you don't want to be blending and going crazy because you are going to get a crap ton of fallout. So I'm dipping into that deeper brown shade. Look at the dip in that shadow now. I went into it more. I'm gonna hit pan before this video is over. Like, what the heck is that? All right, put a little right here, and then we'll pull it up into the crease a little bit, just right in here. This brown is a um, little bit hard to blend out. I feel like it's getting a little weird. And I always do this with like a darker brown. And usually I'm able to just kind of blend it right out. But this one's kind of sticking in weird areas. And I know it's not this brush. But that deepened up pretty well, I would say. I'm gonna take a Morphe M433 with no product on it and just try to blend this out. Sorry that you can hear Benny. I don't know what he's barking at. He's a little poopy head. And now I feel like things are just getting like really muddy. So I'm gonna move on to this liquid eyeshadow in Honey Please. And I'm just going to put it all over my lid. All right, here we go. Oh, that's giving a really pretty sparkle. Now, it's not like the Stila ones where it's this like intense base and glitter. This almost looks more just like like a nice little topper. That looks really pretty. I'm gonna take the other side on this eye. I don't see us getting any fallout yet, so that's a good thing. Now this side had way more of a base to it. Maybe I just didn't have enough product on that other side of the applicator. Oh shoot. That is really pretty. I actually really like that. 
this brown on this side is definitely darker than on this side but I'm so frustrated with that brown shadow that I'm just I'm just not messing with it anymore going to take a Morphe E18 brush and I'm going to go into that initial shade that I put on my crease and just buff that all over my lower lash line. Because this shade I didn't mind. It was pretty good. These shadows kind of have a weird feel to them. They almost have like a creamy powdery finish. I don't know. I will definitely say they're not my favorite um, Too Faced eyeshadows. No, no, no. Do I think you need to rush out and buy them? Um, leaning towards no, but that's still up for debate. I am very impressed that I used this little glitter eyeshadow and I do not have one drop of fallout. That is impressive. Because when I use the steel ones, when I use the Milani ones, I always get fallout. I do not have one ounce of anything on my under eyes. And that would make me grab for this over my other ones. Just for that simple reason. Like, that's amazing. That's a huge deal for me. So, as of right now, I really, really like this. I just can't stop focusing on my crease like that dark brown eyeshadow is trying to roll my So I'm going to go off camera and do these brows so we can finish up the eyes and I'll be right back. I'm going to take this shade with an Esam W23 brush and I'm going to do my brow bone. Let's see. That's just that like champagne one. That's actually pretty. Oh, I have a little concealer there that I didn't blend out. Whoops. Oh, that's actually a really nice brow bone shade. I like to pull it down a little and then take a blending brush and just kind of blend that line. I just can't get past this brown, that deep brown shade. I really don't like it. I don't have a better than sex mascara to use because whenever I get them in the mail from Too Faced I always give them to Tara because it's her favorite mascara and I don't know it's it's not one of my favorites I don't mind it and I did have one opened but it's actually in my empty bin yep I like this shade for the inner corner and the brow bone. It's very pretty. It might be nice as an everyday shadow for your lid if you just want something just a little, a little, you know, like metallic-y, nothing too crazy. Yeah, this is pretty. I don't know, I'm like torn on this eyeshadow palette. I wouldn't say rush out and buy it. I don't think it's of that caliber. But I think it's pretty good. I don't know. I have to play with it more. I can't give you guys like a definite answer. But I don't like that matte brown. I do know that. Okay. I'm very excited to try this out. This is the Pineapple Sun Pineapple Paradise Strobing Bronzer. This shade is gorgeous. And I'm going to try this as a highlight. I do want to try this. these highlighting drops. But I'm kind of scared because I forgot and I just put powder everywhere. So I'm afraid they're going to pull my foundation off. Okay, I'm taking my Tom Ford bronzer brush. She barely fits in there. That's the only thing about a split pan that I don't like. All right. That is gorgeous. That is so pretty. It kind of reminds me of the Sweet Tea Bronzer that I freaking love. Oh my God, I love this. This, other than the foundation, is my favorite thing so far. 
This is gorgeous. Okay, for blush, I want to use Apricot in the Act, the Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo. Now, this side, can you see all the little chunks of glitter in there? I'm gonna probably stay away from that side and focus on this side. Oh, that's pretty. I like that, that's good. Okay, going back into the little pineapple guy for this highlighter. And I'm gonna use my A23 from ABH. Hmm. Oh shoot. Okay, we'll try the highlighting drops on the other side of my face. See, I'm the worst, I always forget to use them. This is very pretty. It's kind of subtle, but I'm not mad. This is my favorite thing. So these are the Fresh Squeezed Sparkling Pina Colada Highlighting Drops. Let's see if they smell. Everything smells so far. But it's not like an overpowering scent. It's just very faint. I love when makeup products smell like fruit. So if you're someone who doesn't, I don't know that you would like this collection. I love that they smell like fruit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, bitch. Just kidding, don't do that. It does smell like, oh my God, it smells like pina colada. Ooh, this is like liquid, ooh, look at that. Oh girl, is that gonna make my face look soaking wet? Okay, wait, I'm scared. Okay, wait. <laughs> wait, that is like all shimmer. Oh, don't play with me. Do you see that? Okay, bitch, so I didn't get it fall out. Now I have glitter all over my cheekbone. No, no, no. I would love this on my body, though. Look how pretty that is. But on my face... On my face? I don't think so. I do not think so. Mm -mm. Going back into this guy. Wait, I gotta wipe this off. This is crazy. I can't, I can't believe that's for the face. Like, that's a lot. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna go in, well, these are the two that I like the most. Show Me Your Coconuts is on top and then Grin and Bear It. So, I think, let's swatch both of them. Okay, so this one is Show Me Your Coconuts. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I love that. That's really nice. And then this is Grin and Bear It. This one's a little bit more pink. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, that's pretty, but it's a little pink for me, so I'm going to go in with Show Me Your Coconuts. I like this applicator. It looks really nice. Look at me trying to smell this. Like, really? Oh, 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 they smell so good. Oh my God, yes. Okay. Okay. That's really pretty. Oops, sorry. Banjo has diarrhea, so Tony's giving me like play-by-play -play, like of his poops. And I'm like, babe, look, he's still texting. Like, do you hear that? It's like the perfect amount of metallic. I'm like really excited right now because this is gorgeous. 
I'm not one for a metallic lip. This is just like a little bit of metallic so that it just makes your, like look how much attention is on my mouth right now because this has like the perfect amount of pigmentation and metallicness and there's no shimmer in it. It's just, mmm, this color is so good. I love this. But the rest of these guys, are gonna go into a giveaway. So I'll show you guys at the very end everything that's in the giveaway. But oh my gosh, wait, I'm really excited about it. Where is it? Show me your coconuts. This is absolutely beautiful. And it's not, the formula doesn't feel sticky or goopy. It feel, I wanna put more on because I love it. This is so good. Oh my God, I love this. This, this guy, and this little um, pineapple bronzer highlighter duo are absolutely my two favorite things. And surprisingly, the foundation. I And I do really like the blush too. I just wish one side of it didn't have glitter in it. And they seem to all be like that. These three things are definitely my favorite. I think the lip might, I don't know. I think the lip might be my favorite, but I did love the bronzer in here. The bronzer is gorgeous. And this foundation, Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation, there is no glow, which I love because I'm oily, but there's no glow. I feel like this is like a demi-matte finish. It looks really pretty and just like natural, healthy, medium to full coverage, depending on how you apply it, what tools you use to apply it. Um, so breakdown of this collection. The only thing I would say that I'm not really wowed by so far is the eyeshadow palette. I think it's pretty. Do I think it's anything that I have not seen in the past? No. Really that crazy about the mattes in here. The one brown was okay, but the other one was not. Um, I don't like how this shade is all dipped down and I'm about to hit pan on it. So, I mean, maybe this like purpley one will be a lot different. I didn't think it was bad, but I have a lot of other palettes that I would pick over this one. But everything else I was really happy with. Actually shocked by how much I like this glitter um, eyeshadow because I'm a huge fan of the Stila and the Milani ones. But this one, again, had zero freaking fallout. No fallout whatsoever. That for me will make me grab these first, as I already said, but that is a huge thing. So I'm gonna insert a picture right now of everything that's going to be included in the giveaway. The giveaway is US only, and the only thing that I ask of you is that you subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below, and please don't forget to put your Instagram handle or your Twitter handle, but Instagram I would prefer. That way I can DM you, let you know that you won, get your information and all that good stuff. So I will pick a win. I'll put all the information down below, how long it's gonna be open, all that jazz. I will let you know down below how this foundation held up for the rest of the day. It's already like four o'clock right now, but I'm gonna try to keep it on till like eight. So a good four to five hours we'll be able to see. I will definitely have a formed opinion by then. So as of right now, I really like it though. I think it looks very, very pretty. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you're gonna pick up anything from this collection. I'm curious, like what's the one thing that you're like, yes, I need to get that. So good luck to everyone in the giveaway. I love you guys so much. I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>